My name is Raven Simone, and while you may know me for my movies and TV, you may not know that I am a proud Red Cross volunteer. Each year, the American Red Cross responds to more than 70,000 emergencies, including hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, and home fires, which is why I'm teaming up with Red Cross and the Clorox Company to help you and your family learn how easy it is to get prepared. Getting ready for life's little emergencies doesn't have to be hard. You can even make it a fun project that involves everyone in the family. Go to simpleandsurprising.com to download this activity book. It will help you build an emergency kit and prepare your family for life's emergencies. So, are you ready? Well, let's get started with one of the first activities in the guide, helping you and your family create an emergency kit. So you've probably heard of these things already, but you're going to need a really sturdy waterproof container with a secure lid. You want to fill it up with all of the things you need in case you are without power or if you have to evacuate your home. Start with at least three days worth of food and water. Use food that is easy to prepare without heat and that won't spoil. Have enough water, one gallon per person per day. Then add a flashlight, batteries, always extra batteries, a battery powered or hand cranked radio, and a first aid kit. Don't forget medications and personal hygiene items. In addition, you could include cleaning supplies, such as disinfecting bleach. See, an adult in your family can use bleach to purify drinking water and to disinfect surfaces. You may have the kit, but are you ready to do more? Well, here's how. With no power or mobile phone games, <laughs> what would you do to pass the time with your family? Without this activity book, I'm not sure what I would do. Thankfully, this activity book will help you come up with some ideas, like including cards, coloring books, and trivia games in your emergency kit. Now, if you're ready to do more, here's a great project, an evacuation map. Now, here is a map of my house. This map will make sure you know how to help yourself and your family in the event of a fire or even a bigger emergency that requires you to leave your neighborhood. It's also a great way for you and your family to spend time together. Here's what you will need to make your own evacuation map. A map of your neighborhood. Camera, poster board, markers, crayons, ribbons, and other knickknacks, paddy wax, glue, and of course, a parent. First, you'll need to make a map of your home and take pictures of your house. Here's a map of the rooms in my house. In case of an emergency, such as a fire in my kitchen, I'm going to be prepared to get out. It's good to mark at least two routes of escape from each room in case one is blocked. For instance, in my bedroom, I'm going to mark the entrance door and the window in front of my bed. You'll want to do the same and make sure you think about all of your family members and how they would want to get out as well. Now, you also have to pick a spot outside where your family will meet. Our meeting place is this big oak tree furthest from the house. Now it's time for you and your family to have your own fire drill and practice your plan. It's also a good idea to hang this somewhere where you and your family will see it and remember the plan. You can even paste it on a piece of poster board and create a fun border. Now you're ready to go with your home evacuation plan. But what happens if there's a bigger emergency in your neighborhood? Draw or print out a big view of your neighborhood. Walk around the neighborhood one weekend with your parents and plan the route if you ever have to leave your neighborhood. See, here is where my house is. Nice. And this is where we would meet. Talk to your neighbors. Explain that you are working on a family's preparedness plan and you want to make sure they have a plan and a kit too. See, I talked to my girl Samantha and she lives here. So, I am going to make an X and add a few trinkets to make it stand out. I gave her a copy of the activity book so she can make sure her family is ready too. In fact, for every activity book downloaded, the Clorox company will donate a dollar, up to 10000 to the American Red Cross. There, all finished. I will store this container someplace safe in case of an emergency. You can help now by sharing this information with as many people as possible. So tweet it and post this link with the hashtag SMPL and surprising and you may win $500 for you and another $500 for your local Red Cross chapter. Your local Red Cross chapter also offers classes and activities to help you to be prepared from creating a kit to learning CPR. You've got to check them out. So ask yourself, 
Are you ready to do more? Well, get off that computer and get started. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Go get your guide at simpleandsurprising.com and then get started.